Welcome back to the start of a weekly vlog. I've literally not picked up my camera in a few days, actually. I've been super busy, but like good busy. This weekend, I got a massive, massive amount of orders for nails. And thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So that's been keeping me super busy. Yesterday, I literally did eight sets and I still have a few more to go. So like... Totally love you guys and thank you guys so much again. My press on nail website shop will be in the description box below for you guys. But right now, I just got out the shower. I got a package from Shein in the mail yesterday. Not sponsored. I bought I bought it all with my own money. So yeah, that's what I'm getting ready for right now. I'm also going to charge these little bad boys. This is the flashlight that my mom gave me for my birthday. It was she gave it to me so I could like use it at work. <laughs> Well, my my job, you know, my job that I no longer have, uh, because it, it's it's kind of a necessity because there's some dark spots. So she totally got this one for me so I could use it. But like now I can't use it for work, so I'm gonna charge it up. But it's like super convenient. Like I love it so much. You bought it at Costco and it lights up super super bright and it's chargeable, so you don't need to use batteries for it. That's what it looks like again. She got it for me at Costco. This is, I guess, this is the the what's it called the brand for it so i'm charging these lights right because today me and my best friend and her husband we're gonna go a little ghost hunting so i'm really really excited so i'm like charging up these lights because we're supposed to go to kuba road which is a very haunted road okay allegedly right so we're gonna go there and do some exploring and we're also gonna go have dinner before that's the plan so anyways i'm charging these lights because we need light we're gonna need light we're gonna go at night and we need light you know what i'm saying so it's a very very busy busy day by the way a little life update i feel like i haven't really been on here vlogging because i've been doing other videos and other stuff uh but valerie got her second vaccine yesterday her covid vaccine and yeah, she's feeling good. She was feeling a little tired yesterday after, um, but she's uh, doing great. And yeah, we are officially fully vaccinated. I'm like so excited for this fall because I feel like I can finally wear everything that I buy. You know what I'm saying? Like have the motivation to wear, you know, outfits I buy. So everything that I bought in this haul uh, was with, is with the intent to actually wear it, you know what I'm saying? Like things I will actually wear, not just like try on and see if I like. But like I was very specific to choose um, items that I really wanted to wear this fall and whatnot. Like lately, um, I mean, I have been wearing dresses a lot more frequently than I would ever wear dresses. Uh, I usually wear my dresses maybe like one once or twice and then put them in my closet and like for the rest of the year never see of them again and I have boots and stuff that I've purchased and just like wanted to wear but um just like never like ever have the motivation to ever pull them out of the closet again and wear them. Do any of you guys watch Myra Touch of Glam? Um if you guys do you guys know that um she had her baby premature and her babies have been having a really rough time making it and he's already been going through so so much and it makes me so sad um it makes me so so sad and i'm rooting i'm rooting for her baby that i hope he makes it and i know she posted the other day that the doctor said that there's no hope anymore and honestly i hope they're wrong i hope that they are so so wrong because i can't imagine what she's been going through and i've been like refreshing trying to see like an update or something but god i'm like hoping and praying so hard that baby makes it and i mean if you guys watched uh or if you guys watch my relative you know this is something that's been very important for her and she's been wanting to have a baby and 
God, I'm just sending her all of the positive vibes and health vibes her way and her towards her baby and <sighs> finished the haul. This is my outfit for today. I needed I needed something comfortable, you know, to go out ghost exploring with. You know what I'm saying? Like something comfortable. I can like run in in case a ghost comes after me. But like oh, my eyes itchy. But like let's be honest guys. Let's Let's be honest, when have you guys ever seen, even in a movie, a ghost break a, a big bitch in half? Like when? Tell me when. A ghost don't like big people. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I feel so accomplished because I literally put everything away. Well, except this. I need to hang these up on my coat rack. But guys, you guys need these sweaters. They're literally the most coziest, warmest things ever. And I'm, I love them. I love them so much. But Mr. Toby wanted some attention. <laughs> I gave him two man buns. Man buns, okay. To keep the hair away from his face. You know, because I don't want to cut his hair either. Because I think he looks so cute with his hair long. We've been doing a really good uh, job brushing him and whatnot. So I just like don't want like I should probably take him for like a little trim on the face right because if I do it I'm gonna completely butcher him up, but he looks <laughs> What what's up, dude? Waiting for Valerie to come out of school then gonna go do some laundry and then we're gonna hit up Kohl's Because homegirl needs some more uniform pants and although I had gotten her some her teacher has been complaining that they look like sweatpants, but they're not sweatpants. So it's like, you know, what? like they're, they're the color of the uniform. What are you complaining about? <sighs> so they don't have them at Target and um, I haven't checked Kohl's. So we're gonna go check out Kohl's, see what's up. Here's Valerie's lunch. We had Panera today. So this is a little leftover sandwich. Uh, we baked cookies the other day. There are these um, pumpkin cookies, sugar cookies that I got at Target and they're so delicious. So I gave her four so she could share with one of her friends at school. Some Panera chips, her napkin and her spoon, a lime bubbly. We still have these little houses just chilling out here. And a Chobani cookies and cream. Uh, and of course her card that I write in the back of it a little cute note and then her fun fact of the day remember I told you guys um that we were gonna go to Kohl's after uh doing laundry well we did and I picked up a little something, something I don't know why but I just think that this hat like it has no significance just a little little happy face but like all my girl is it's cute like and I literally just picked it up like just random little pickup and like it okay okay she's into hats now um but it's super cute like it's super simple super cute do you see toby in the background having a blast in my new clothes and my new sweaters toby what are you doing what are you doing my dude what are you doing come on come on you can do it you can do it no right here right here come on you can do it no, Toby, right here. Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on, come here. Toby, here, here, come on, come on, right here. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> you wanna know what's not safe? The fact that there's a Sephora inside of Kohl's now. Now, I have not shopped at Sephora in the longest. In the longest. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up at Sephora, okay? A little Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. And it's in my color. Uh, the guy that was working there was so sweet to help me out pick up my color. This is my color, y'all. <laughs> I haven't tried it out, but I tried it out on my like chest because I told him that I had a full face of makeup. <clears throat> okay, I had a full face of makeup, which I still do. Let me take this off. And I was like, can you help me out? Like, 
pick it out like somehow so he was like okay well what if you put some on your chest right and i was like that's a really good idea so then i'm like T -t 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 -t. okay this is in the color 185 and it's pretty freaking light okay but your girl is pretty freaking light so anyways i'm like yeah for sure guess what he matched me he matched me and I was just so happy because I'm always picking out my foundation and I never get it right. Like you can not even tell. Like that's how like awesome it is. And it doesn't oxidize because I told him that I didn't want a powder foundation that oxidizes. Officially with Natalie, we are at Los Comandes first stop. Guess who didn't bring her camera? Me. With her husband Alex. <laughs> but look at how cute she looks. They're matching. Una michelada on a Wednesday night. It looks so delish. Okay guys, we're on our way to Walgreens before we start making our way down to Cuba Road because your girl here needs some Pepto-Bismol. Things don't digest the same way they used to in me anymore. Si, para camina. Or wait, where are we? Oh no, it was that way. <laughs> it was that way. Hey, we out here chasing Pepto-Bismol shots. Shots, 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 shots. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hello, loves. It is literally the next day. And I'm using the new foundation that I got by Fenty. And it literally is my color. And it's not oxidizing. Which is like perfect. I legit look like a ghost. But it's my skin color. So we're gonna rock with it. But I believe that. Oh, and I'm using like the little sponge it comes with because my other uh, brush that I use to put on my powder foundation, I am gonna say it feels a little bit dry. And these are my colored lips. Like my lips look super red. My lips um tend to be super red sometimes. It's really random I look like a ghost I'm going in with this um, matte bronzer in matte bronze that's literally what it's called so last night was super fun it was super fun it was adventurous but I can't find that road that me and an ex of mine ended up at like I just can't find it this is literally now the fourth time that I've been back and I can't find that road. Maybe I gotta hit him up and be like, hey yo, you down to go to Cooper Road again? <laughs> We're still really good friends, by the way. It's been like, it's been like 10 years already? Nine. Nine years and he's just been that one ex that <laughs> he's that one ex not uh no like we've like we're just really good friends like i don't talk about him and i will never show him on here but uh we're, he's just always been somebody like we kind of grew up together from the time that we met each other to like where we're at now because before we didn't have a good relationship we actually didn't really get along it, i know weird but I think we kind of like grew and I mean I used to like want to be with him but I kind of like grew out of the fact that it's never gonna happen and we're just like so much better as friends so that's what we are like really good friends to this day so don't be surprised that one of these days I'm like on my way to Cooper Road with an ex we're just really good friends though face like in real life no longer looks orange you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying because it's like my actual uh, foundation color and this is like literally all i'm gonna do today i'm gonna put a little bit of blush and a little bit of mascara and i'm gonna fix up my lips because i obviously i don't look all that this has been my favorite blush color lately which is like the color pop power puff girl collection one
I don't ever like rock a full face without eyeliner. And then when I look at myself in the camera, I look weird. But it's because like I always usually just wear eyeliner. I don't, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Anyways, so this morning when I woke up, I felt like super tired, you know? But I'm like, eh, I'll take my pre-workout, right? And I'll I'll just eventually like catch up and I'll feel a lot better. Cause usually that's what happens, right? Like I wake up, I feel super tired, you know, just like everyone else does when they wake up. Uh, so woke up, did my little morning routine, and then took my pre-workout, took Valerie to school. I, I woke up with a little bit of a headache and I was just thinking, oh, maybe because like I had beer last night and then we went and did all that you know, ghost adventure. Uh, went to sleep like around one o'clock in the morning yesterday. So I woke up with a bit of a headache, which hasn't happened in a while. Um, that I wake up with a headache, but I never got like the sense of like energy that I usually get after taking pre-workout, you know? I always get like this burst of energy and like I get into like the mood and I'm motivated and whatnot. So anyways, it hasn't happened yet and it's already one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm like, why am I feeling like this? Like I haven't woken up feeling like this in a while and I feel tired, my eyes feel heavy and I'm like, man, did I eat a lot of like salty food last night? I mean, I did eat before I left here and then uh, Natalie and her husband wanted to go out to eat before we went on our adventure. So I was like, cool, let's go. We go, I had two micheladas and then I ate an unnecessary torta because, because I can't say no. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, maybe, well, maybe that's why I woke up feeling kind of like swollen and uh, the sodium headache and all that, right? But then, like I said, I hadn't found, I haven't found my energy and it's already one o'clock in the afternoon and I don't feel motivated and I don't feel like gross about myself. You know, like how sometimes you wake up and you just don't, like you feel self-conscious and like, I don't feel like that about myself at all. So I'm like, okay, well, you're not in one of those moods today. So then like, what's going on? And then I remembered that I took these last night before I went to bed. And I just got these yesterday. I've never tried these before, but these are the melatonin 10 milligram uh, gummies. And then when I remembered that I took two of those yesterday for the first time, then I remembered the feeling and how some like depending on the brand of the melatonin or what sleep aid it will be i wake up like i slept but like i didn't sleep and that's how i feel right now i feel like i slept but like i didn't sleep and even though i'm not sleepy because i got enough sleep I feel drained and that's why I feel like crap because this melatonin makes me feel like crap. At my parents and here with my sister-in-law, we're going to do a little gender reveal. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think the baby's going to be. Is the baby going to be a boy or is the baby going to be a girl? By the way, she's showing like, come here, Rochelle. Is she starting to show right. <laughs> her little belly? <laughs> but we know what the baby's gonna be. Let me know what you guys are. What you guys think is gonna be? Take a vote, Madam. So, what is the baby ring? You wanna let you know now? It's a girl. <laughs> it's gonna be a baby girl, and I'm so excited. Finally, another Glad I guessed it from day one. So the moment I called you, right? Yeah. The day I found out I was pregnant, I called you right away. And I told her, and she told me, it's a girl, it's a Michelle. Girl. It's a girl. I've I've always felt like I was going to be a girl. You like, did. Like, from day one. I don't know why you... I mean, yeah, like, girl vibes from, like, the beginning. And, you, and I called you. It wasn't like you saw me or anything. No, I just knew it. I just nice. knew. 
You had to show him, bro. That sixth instinct. <laughs> that instinct. You want to show this with Nico? Yeah. What's up? sandwich. Ooh. Mason, you have it. Uh, huh? Mason, can have it. You want to oh, yeah. it? Super with, excited, guys. You want to show the sandwich? Sure. We're going to go eat sushi. Thank you, babe. Well, Comes out of the video. <laughs> oh, no, you know what? It's got jar now. Oh, I thought oh, it was It's got chilas. <laughs> Plus, Omar, the front door is open. Do you like chilas? Mason? Mm -mm. He likes yeah. spicy food, but not cheese. Try it, try it. No. We'll try right, it. I'm gonna watch the animal group. Okay. Wait, where? Ah. Okay, so yeah, guys, um, we're racing. Yeah, we're having a baby girl, and I'm so excited. So excited where to finally have another baby in the family. Where you, you know, my mom, my mom, my mom was talking about one of us had to have a baby, and I'm looking at her like, oh, excuse me, like. With who? With with like, with who? Wait, with who? But luckily, my brother took over that role. So that's the baby in the family now. It's gonna be a little girl. So now the thing is, you know, what are we gonna name her? Um, what? Have you guys decided to name it? No. No. Another video. <laughs> and by the way, Rochelle doesn't like like those gender reveal things like she's not into it or baby showers mm -hmm. like i've been going back and forth with this girl about a baby shower so bad <laughs> hey is sam here no so mom and dad look yeah oh, that was but but she doesn't want a baby shower i don't know i don't like one but she just doesn't like baby shower like she just she's i don't know rochelle's um Rochelle's also a Gemini. I know, so, right? So we're both Geminis. But we get along, like, since day one, dude, we've always gotten along, like, super well. I don't believe in that astrology thing. I don't know. Do you believe in astro astrology? N not really, because it doesn't really... I don't know, because I've I, I met a lot of Geminis, and they're all different. My work bully, she was a Gemini. She was completely <laughs> different from me. Like, let me tell you, that bitch was something else. I am not one bit like her. So I'm telling you, like I've met a lot of different Gemini's and we're all different. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't it doesn't match. Like if I was having a baby, like I I would like low key like enjoy a baby shower, you know. But Rochelle, she's like complete opposite. She just she doesn't well, want a baby shower. She doesn't like that, and she doesn't even like all the gender reveal stuff. Like, I mean, she enjoys it, like with other people, mm -hmm. but not for herself. Right. So, oh. I'm over here like, oh, but it's a video. No, yeah. <laughs> but it's a video. <laughs> but she's just like. <laughs> We're at this um, favorite sushi rotator spot out here in Rolling Meadows, I believe. But that's the, yep, Rolling Meadows. It's the name of the sushi spot. I love this place. And basically the cost of the sushi will be like depending on the type of plate you get. So you guys see how this one's blue. So if I was going to get this one, then it would be $3.50. And then you just basically collect all of your plates and then they just add them all up at the end. It's very delicious and so good and so much fun. Basically, roll this up, take the plate, close it back up, and you're good. It is the next day. I went to a grocery shopping at Mariano's, so I'm going to show you guys really quick what I got. I know this is like officially a pretty long vlog, so bear with me. I know a lot of you guys enjoy long vlogs, so I'm just going to do a weekly vlog of all my week, so... Let me show you guys what I got. Needed paper towels, so I just got this bunch. Um, some tostadas, these are our favorites. And I like, to, I like them for ceviche. Some Dixie cups, because we ran out for when we brush our teeth. Some spaghetti. I picked up this ranch seasoning to like throw on, in, on some chicken breast and throw it in the air fryer. I heard it tastes really good, so I like, I'm intrigued to try it out. Some rice paper because I want to make Valerie some spring rolls so she could take to school so she can eat um, for her lunch. My favorite peeled garlic. 
some whipped cream because guys fall season is here and abuelita hot chocolate is like here so some fabuloso a couple of these big la costeña jalapeños i love these they have to be from la costeña or else like i just can't so i got two of these big ones and then i got two of these small ones uh, this uh, Thai sweet chili sauce for spring rolls, um, some vanilla extract, soy sauce, did I say soy sauce? I don't know. Parmesan cheese, some tricolor rotini because I want to make uh, sometime this week or next week actually, salad pasta, which comes out so good. Uh, some unsalted butter, I love this kind. Purple onions, yellow onions, we needed some milk. These, uh, to put in the back of the toilet bowl, so every time you flush, it kind of like brings this like really good aroma and also supposed to clean your toilet as well. Then I got these like cherry tomatoes. I desperately need a new sponge and, well not like desperately guys, but I, I'm, it's, it's coming up. So I got like this little bunch. In here, I have tomatillos, jalapeños, and one chile poblano for salsa. And this candle is a legit my favorite right now, so I got one. Some mayo, garlic powder, all-purpose flour. I want to make some crepes, so got that one. Mushrooms, these shredded carrots for the spring rolls. Some baby carrots for snacks. Valerie's lunch, iceberg lettuce, and some light brown sugar. Bear with me guys, I've been doing, I did so much today and I'm officially done. I cleaned and I went grocery shopping and I went to Costco. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Costco. It's another huge haul. And I like to tell you guys why, like what's the reason behind the items that I get because I know that some people are interested maybe uh, to know what I use it for and perhaps like an idea for you guys also as well like mm, I want to try that or ooh, I'll cook that today <sighs> okay so let me show you this massive and final um, haul first off importantly I got some water bottles some go squeeze organic applesauce again snacks for Valerie's which was school Bacon, Columbus hickory smoked turkey bacon. Let's see how it tastes. I've never had it, but it looks really, really good though. And I've had turkey bacon before and I like. So I haven't had turkey bacon in a while. So yeah. And in case you guys want to know, uh, I use bacon for like obviously breakfast sometimes, but also Valerie loves uh, BLTs sandwiches for lunch. So yeah. Some shrimp because I actually do want to make um, un cocktail de camarones this week and also ceviche. This is my favorite ham um, for sandwiches and also because this specific ham I like to use it in my tricolor pasta salad which I'll show you guys how I make it okay. These Z bars which I got Valerie some at uh, I can't remember what grocery store I got her at. Got her some, and she actually likes some. I don't like them, but they're a really good choice for a snack option as well for lunch. Um, this Parmesan, because I actually am planning to make my homemade Alfredo pasta soon. I just don't know when, but it's always nice to have a big old thing of Parmesan cheese in the fridge. Cream cheese, also for pasta, and also because I do want to maybe make some broccoli cheddar soup and then also Valerie likes to have cream cheese on her bagel in the morning for breakfast before school. I got these sourdough breads to make sandwiches and also I want to try this like TikTok treat which is basically to take a, a slice some slices of bread sourdough I believe this is sourdough no this is French whatever same thing whatever I'm pretty sure it's still delicious but it's nice and fresh I love that Costco has really good fresh crunchy soft bread so we're gonna use this one but basically they toast it with some olive oil this burrata so you spread it on top of the toast that you're gonna toast and some cherry tomatoes i'll show you guys how i make it when i make it and some dave's killer bread 
comes with two. Um, I figured that if you put it in the fridge, it lasts really long. It doesn't mold up. So just a little tip, if you guys want your bread to last a lot longer, for example, if you guys purchase from like Costco, uh, I highly recommend you to put these types of breads inside of your fridge. They last a lot longer. This kind of bread I will not put in the fridge because it's just different and it will, instead of like being fresh, it will like harden up. So yeah, not going to do that one though. But these that come like this, I definitely always put them in the fridge and they just last longer. Again, like I showed you guys, I got this burrata to put on the, the toast bread. I've never tried these, but this is kale, kale pesto with white cheddar. And I feel like it would look, it would, it would taste really good with some like spaghetti. And then I got this creamy Alfredo as well. Some heavy whipping cream, some extra, extra virgin olive oil. I've been eating some orange juice for Valerie in the morning so she can have with her breakfast. A bag of limones, but I should have gotten two now that I'm thinking about it because I'm going to make ceviche and we like limon and like a lot of things because we are Mexican and that's how we roll. I got these avocado, smashed avocados, but like the package, like I accidentally like put stuff on top of it and it came smashed. So like every, there was these everywhere. So um, yeah, but I got these to put in Valerie's lunch bag also as a different option. Like I don't like to give her the same thing because I don't want her to get sick, sick of having the same thing all the time. So I do like to mix it up. And I just like really like that these come in these little packages. So she could have like, like just scoop it up with some chips. She loves, we love sweet potato fries. So I picked up like this really big packet of them. Um, some vanilla ice cream because I actually want to make some strawberry banana milkshakes at some time you know like just i've been doing a lot of home cooking obviously lately so it's it, like i just want to change things up a bit if you guys know what i'm saying so in instead of like having a sweet tooth and going out and you know getting something um i feel like having it here and doing it here at home will be like so much better obviously and that's how we've been doing things lately so just I've been on my Gordon Ramsay game lately. And then some bananas, obviously, for the milkshakes. And then also, I want to make some crepes, guys. Oh, I skipped the buttermilk pancakes over here, but another option just to have. But like I was saying, I want to make some crepes this week, or sometime this week, uh, or sometime in the future. So I got some bananas because I want to put bananas and strawberries. But me and Valerie love crepes, and I know how to make them. So, bananas, tomatoes, because as a Mexican, we use tomatoes for like everything. Um, sopa de fideo, Mexican rice, everything, salsas, everything. It's pomegranate season, and the best spot to get pomegranates, in my opinion, is Costco. So I got a, I got a whole case, and Valerie loves these, and this is just the perfect healthy snack. Some canned corn, some pocky sticks, Snack option for Valerie's lunch. Strawberries, these tortilla strips, also to snack with uh, for Valerie's lunches, and also um, para el ceviche as an option. Even though like these aren't my to-go for ceviche, but like my family likes these types of things and the kids that they love. Um, oh, some apple crisp. Or no, yeah, right, apple crisp, apple crisp, honey crisp apples, and. These are just delicious and these are in season, so I need to pick some of these up. And then lastly, I got these fruit snacks, again, for Valerie's little um, lunch snack option. Had a little tragedy amongst cleaning the table and transferring Valerie's a little haunted house back. Uh, should we blame it on the cat? All right, my loves, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed what I did this week. Remember that I will be posting videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, okay? And then here and there, a little surprise, extra bonus video. But I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought, what, what, what was your favorite part of this vlog? But yeah, without further ado, I appreciate everyone for watching my videos. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.